Hello, everyone, right here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Automotive for our Contractor Series here. I'm kind of calling this the uh, Contractor Series here at this point. I mean, that's pretty much what we've been doing is all contracts. None of our own farm work here yet. Speaking of contracts, I've been working on the Field 39 here. Uh, we got most of the field harvested here, just a little bit more to go. Uh, we're also working on cultivating Field 35. Uh, that field would have been done, Evan, except for the fact that, uh, of course, they got stuck on a pole and i never realized it It never you know popped up the usual course play is what stuck spinning whatever i forget the exact error message there again but never got that message so i never went over and checked and realized he was stuck on a pole until i started the recording here and like oh that field is not done yet that field should be done by now that field should be more than done by now it's not so oh well anyway we're taking in a load here of oats to risser grains let me double check this here at field 39 harvesting going to risser grains that field, oh, that one, that one's still showing up behind this bummer. I'd like to retake that one if we could. Oh, that's right, I gotta hit collect. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Got you hit it. Got hit uh, collect on that one once you do uh, fail the mission. Oh well. Uh, sewing on field 37 is complete, so we can collect on that one. And speaking of sewing, Evan, I think we're gonna move right on to field. Whoa, field five. Uh, with wheat, field five with wheat, ninety-one thousand dollars. You don't say. Well, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> We are going to take that contract. Uh, I'll tell you what, folks. We are going to take that one. Uh, we don't need to borrow anything, right? We, yeah, we got our own equipment here. I'm just uh, double-checking this. I'm making sure I got everything uh, right here because, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are going to uh, We are going to do that mission. Uh, let me tell you, folks, that we are going to uh, do that one. Whoa, what is the world is going on here? Um, of course, it's just, like, going whatever way it wants to. Now, whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah, back to the, uh, back to the rest of the grains here. Let me grab the truck here. Let's get back to field 39. And, yeah, we're going to definitely be investigating that, uh, that contract. Also, I've seen field, field 2 there as well. Looked like it was fairly profitable. But, uh, field 5, that is, that is worth some money. Why can't I drive? Oh, there we go. I don't know. That was weird. Well, it's not like I lost, uh, control here. But for some reason, just couldn't turn. No acceleration. That was weird. Not sure. Slide it onto the field here. There we go. Yep, looks good to me. Like a little bit left to go on that field there. Looks like the hired worker's doing that about as inefficiently as possible. Hey, he's getting the job done. That's all that matters, right? Okay, let's go grab our planting tractor here then. And then we're going to be doing field five. Let's go ahead and accept that contract because, uh, yes, I like the looks of that. And we need to sow it in wheat. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Hello, a course play. That'll definitely uh, give us a nice uh, boost of income here, I would think, everyone. And we should be able to maybe afford some more equipment after that. That's going to be the idea. I'm not sure. I'm thinking, do we have a No, we don't have a weeder yet, right? Wouldn't mind maybe looking into getting a weeder, everyone. Those missions typically aren't highly profitable, but hey, why not, right? Let's see what such a uh, weeder we can afford and uh, anything that looks uh, particularly interesting. And hopefully that uh, field two. In fact, I maybe I'll even take the field two uh, contract. Won't be able to do it right away until field five is done, obviously. But maybe we'll take it right away. Then hopefully we can actually finish both of those contracts. Get some really good money for both of them. One hundred twenty thousand dollars, pretty much, between both contracts. There, Evan. That's uh, like I said, that is some good money. Too bad we don't have more uh, field five sized fields on this map. And, you know, again, Evan, I maybe didn't choose the best of maps here for contracting. Uh, typically, uh, a map with larger fields usually can make money a little bit easier. You know? And that's pretty much true in general, really, everyone. Pretty much when it comes to this game, any map with larger fields, it's easier to make money on. Or make it quicker, maybe I should say, it seems like. Otherwise, I mean, if you had just uh, little fields all the time, it definitely takes a while to make money. Once you got uh, larger fields and or if you start with larger fields... Really makes a big difference as to the uh, speed of your progression on the map. Okay, course generation, field five. Five. Field five. Uh, why, why, why no field five? Uh, field five, yeah, okay. 
Force Generation. Field 5. Hmm. Okay, we're not getting that one. Okay, let's, uh, we'll do that. Field 5, so, there. Thanks for that from. Okay, Course Generation. Field 5, there we go. Headland. Oh, we'll do, uh, kind of a 4. Seems like it should be good. Oh, and you know what? We have, uh, we got islands in this field, I think, right? Let's uh, see what's that. Let's throw that maybe up to five then and see what we end up with here. There's, yeah, a couple poles down here that I think that should be good. That should be good. Okay, first waypoint, drive course. And again, double check here. Yeah, sowing with wheat. We are set on wheat. Uh, we don't need to put fertilizer down. Um, so with that being said... Should probably make sure it's turned off. It shouldn't be using, but never know. Actually, uh, with that being said, I, mean, I said it shouldn't be using fertilizer. If you remember from the last series, everyone, Red Dirt Ranch there, uh, even though we turned off the use of fertilizer on the scenery, it would still use fertilizer and put down fertilizer. Don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It actually was using fertilizer. It was, too. Look at that. I don't know if you folks can see that there, but see the darker shading? Even though there's no fertilizer in the planter, it was still using fertilizer. Now, it's nice to see it actually did turn it off here this time. Because actually, the last map, everyone, even though I had this turned off, use fertilizer cedar deactivated, it still was putting down fertilizer. That's good to know. Good to know. And in fact, that means I probably wasted some money on that previous uh, field. Field 38, 37, whichever field it just came off of there. Was like, what in the world is course they doing over here, everyone? Uh, no idea. Anyway. Oh, how are we looking over on field 39 here? We're almost done. Got to be really, really close here. Looks like pretty much uh, one more pass here and we'll have this uh, field done. Let's go see what else we got for contractors. Speaking of contracts, let's grab field two while we can. Accept that one. That is canola. Uh, let's see. Field 37 fertilizing. That's a pretty good looking uh, contract there. If I do say, we know we don't have our own fertilizing equipment yet, do we? Yeah, like, well, I tapped through all the... Conveyor belts here. Nope, we don't have our own fertilizing equipment yet. That is something everyone we maybe should look in investing in, I'm thinking. Uh, how much was it like a self-propelled sprayer here again? Besides the John, I mean, we can get the John Deere 6000. I mean, that's a good cheap one. Wouldn't mind being able to get something a little bit different, though. International spray truck, that might be interesting. Unsupported 32-bit index mass cooking cab parts. That uh, that does not sound like a good air message. Evan doesn't sound good at all. John Deere 4730, 229,000. Yeah, we're a little bit uh, a little bit uh, far away from affording that, unfortunately. John Deere 6000 might just be it. I don't know. We do have a Fent Rogator. That's a rather interesting looking one. Patriot 3230 Patriot. Big brute. Got a crop duster. No idea how that would work. I mean, I'm thinking, oh, we might just get that John Deere 6000, to be honest. I mean, I mean, it's cheap. Gets the job done. You know what? Let's, uh, yeah, we got the money for it. We're going to go for it. Let's go for it, everyone. Uh, we're, yeah, just like it is. No GPS on it. Can't afford GPS, unfortunately. Okay, back to the contracts here. Field 37, we're going to go ahead and accept that. And I think, was this, uh, we need to spray, what do we need to spray in here? That's fertilizer, right? Yep, okay. I think this is fertilizer right here, if I remember correctly. Go ahead and uh, top that off. There we go. And 37, that's right around the corner here, right? Yes, it is. So slowly but surely, that when we're getting our own equipment, um, hey, I'd like to have something a little new, everyone, but hey, we can afford this at this point, and it gets us some uh, pretty good money, if you ask me. And it does save us a little bit of money. Not much, but a little bit, right? Well, that's a 37, so one closer to the road. And we'll get the uh, course by course going on that too once we're uh, to the field. 
definitely uh, making a lot of use of our uh, course player at this point. I went just uh, really keeping them uh, contracts rolling. Hopefully keep the money rolling in pretty good here as well. Don't forget, by the way, too, everyone, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the Artie Allen multiplayer servers, that information is down below in the uh, description there. Anyone is welcome to join us as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Again, that Artie Allen TeamSpeak server information is down below in the uh, description there. And anyone is welcome to join. Pretty good to me. Okay, first waypoint drive course. Okay. Back to the combine here, which uh, that field is done before we hit the complete, though. Actually, I guess it really wouldn't matter if we hit complete, though, because that is our equipment here. Which uh, means I must have sold more than enough grain here last time around. I wasn't even paying attention to that. But yeah, like I said, I mean, this is our equipment, so it's not like it's going to get turned in here this time. I mean, you have to pay for the use of it, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but anyway, I was about to say there, too, everyone. I don't forget to down in the uh, description there. You can find information for my Instagram and Facebook pages there as well. If you'd like to follow on those, again, that information is down below. And don't forget to have it if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Always very much appreciated. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that there as well. Be over the train tracks around the corner. And I never change you, did I? We are going to set that to off. Yes, I do not like the right-click button. Just my personal preference, anyway. Okay, well, that's unloading. I probably should have double-checked and made sure that was actually where the best sell price was, but hey, whatever. We're going to go ahead and collect on that one. What's the next one? Cultivating, 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 cultivating. Lots of cultivating ones. There's some harvesting. It used to be having those, like, almost all harvesting. Now it's a field 20 harvesting. That is barley. Uh, narrow soybeans, another cultivating, another sowing, harvesting, oats in field 12. Actually, what is close here? How close is field 20? Let's see what we got that's relatively close. 20 is 20's down the road away. It's not terrible far away. Anything else closer? Harvesting, field 23. 21. 26, 25, 23 back there. Yeah, that one's that one's quite a ways away. Okay. So far, field 20 looks like a pretty good winner. Harvesting 34 soybeans. 34 has got to be right around here somewhere, right? 34. Yeah, that's right down the road. Okay. That looks like a good candidate to me, everyone. We'll take uh, field 34. That is narrow soybeans. We do need to watch it. Yeah, we don't have a corn head yet, so. To the point of an earth. Almost to uh, some extent, getting a little picky with the contracts I take. You know, trying to keep them close and, you know, making sure they're worth a little bit of money. And, yeah, you know, we're just getting picky with the contracts at this point, aren't we? Between here. I don't know if those got collisions on them or not. Given that most of the rest of the signs on this map do, they probably do. Okay, and that is field 34 right there. All right. And these are the narrow soybeans. I don't know that. Actually, they need different. Ooh, I don't know what you're doing there, combine. I mean, that doesn't look good. Yes, yes, saving content. We're just going to go ahead and grab the truck here. And we'll get the truck brought over to the field here as well. And then we're going to check them out and uh, see if there's any other uh, good contracts or what else is going on here. Let's see if there's anything else we can uh, take. At this point, we've pretty much got all the equipment uh, that we own running, I believe. So there's not much else to do uh, without borrowing equipment. In which case, we might just uh, do some combining ourselves, because why not, right? <laughs> you know, no idea what's going on on field 35. Though. That's just, like, all over the place. Uh, anyway, field 37. Yeah, we're getting close to be done with that field. That won't probably take long. Sewing on field 5. I 
match. 11%, all right? That's going pretty quick. Field 2, uh, yeah, we haven't started that one yet. Field 35, Colt waiting. Actually, must be getting close to being done with that. Field 34, uh, cultivating field 28. A lot of cultivating ones here. Cultivating ones tip aren't worth a whole lot of money, though, but hey, adds up. Uh, sewing on field 31, 24,000. You know we're going to take that mission as well. Where's 31? Right there, huh? Okay. That is some good money. I'm almost considering maybe I should, like, invest in another cedar here at this point. Uh, as long as you take the contract, I mean, I believe you're good. The fields are kind of, like, locked in, and you shouldn't have to worry about losing it. So it should stay that way until we get to it. Hopefully, anyway. Definitely a lot of cultivating ones. That looks like a lot of sowing ones. Oh, field 13. Yeah, there's a lot of sowing. Okay, with corn. Might just be worth having a look into another cedar here, I think. Uh, how much? We got 23,000. Doesn't give us a whole lot, but uh, we might have enough there we can work with a little bit. Let's go look at uh, planters here a minute. What do we got for planters? Yeah, we could go with those. They would get the job done. Uh, Kinsey 71, 12 R30, so 12 row, 30 inch, I'm assuming, right? That's a pretty good price. Ah, it's that one, the one that folds up. I don't know why, I've just never been a fan of this particular, it just doesn't look right for some reason, but it is, uh, it's got a good price tag. It's got a good price tag. There's the International, oh, that one actually, that's a little bit different one, okay. A little bit different, looks similar to the Kinsey, just a uh, little bit different model. Case 12, I think, yep, there's the case version of that Kinsey. Okay, when you buy that Kinsey actually I think looks pretty good. Let's, uh, where is it, was it that one? Yes, that one right there. Let's see, with roll markers plus no assist, 500. Uh, no roll markers plus assist something, hmm. More expensive without roll markers. I think we're going to get it with the roll markers, right? Oh, it says 7,000. I don't know how it gets to 7,500 because it seems to be. I wonder I wonder if this is supposed to be like a minus 1,000 or something. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead and buy that. Yeah. Now the only problem is I'm going to need a tractor to pull it with. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to find any other large tractors. Let's go to probably small tractors. And we need something for like $14,000. What can we get that's good for $14,000? Excellent question. John Deere 3010, 2510, of course. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see what's here. 4020. 5000. Oh, uh, we got the old 5020 or 5010. Yes, except. Um, it's okay. It doesn't look like it's horrible on airs. It's a little outside of our price range right at the moment, unfortunately. That might be a good choice. And then, yeah, like I said, I'm unfortunate. Oliver's are all junk. So, oh, we got a white. Uh, series one, how much is 57 horsepower? That's probably not enough horsepower. If we bump that all the way up though, 95, 95 horsepower for a 12 row. That's, uh, that's probably pushing it. I was probably pushing it. How about this one? 140. There we go. Now we're talking about $11,600, uh, 142 horsepower, a G1355. I believe that's a Minneapolis number, isn't it? That's a Minneapolis number if I remember correctly. Clamp on duels. What's the air message looking like? Uh, not terrible. Not terrible. Just because it's a three-point mount, some more weight might be a good idea, I think. Let's go ahead and buy that one. I mean, that looks like a good choice to me. I think we'll find out. Uh, let's see what's here. Combine is finished. Yeah, there's, there's no way it's finished. Yeah, not finished there, buddy. Nope, where are you? What you stuck on? Ah, three. 
stuck on a tree. Nope, still stuck on a tree. There we go. Get it. Uh, okay, no, we don't have it. Why you no harvest? There we go. A different crop type in there somewhere, too. I like that. Okay, new track trip. Let's see once it'll hook up to the cedar here. Hopefully it will. There we go. Yeah, no problem. That, uh, that three-point link just doesn't quite line up right. Uh, that, that planter looks awful big behind that track. Just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. We need some seed, which I think was the second tank here, right? Yes, it is. Go ahead and uh, top. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll be topping it off, will we? That, uh, that took care of that money. Okay, what was the contract here again that we're going to take for this one? Field 13, sowing with corn. Yes, we'll go ahead and take that. As soon as I figure out where field 13 is, anyway. I guess it's probably down this way somewhere. Hey, there it is right there. Okay, right down the road. Not too shabby. We're doing good on uh, getting contracts that are relatively close to the farm here at this point. Or relatively close to the shop, I guess, technically, right? Relatively close to where we were previously working. Yep, tractor definitely looks a little small in front of this planter. I mean, it looks a little small. Can't say I've ever seen a planter that quite folds up like this either. That is definitely a wide planter going down the road. See, oh, field 13. A little bit further. Yeah. Okay. We are set on corn, so we should be all set once we get there. Again, remember, I have a no fertilizer. Speaking of no fertilizer, let's change a couple settings here. So, first off, advanced settings. Let's turn off the right click HUD. We don't want that. And also, apparently, we need to be in the right mode. And use fertilizer. We're going to deactivate that as well. Okay, there we go. Field 13. And we're going to set up, I don't know what, uh, three headlands. Three headlands should be good. 10.4 meters, not too shabby. Uh, we don't have any islands in this field, do we? That I know of. Okay, and I figure everyone might as do a, well do a little scene ourselves here, because why not, right? So we got some sort of clover or something along the edge. Hmm. Oh well. Take a quick look at the map here. I'm gonna make sure everyone else is uh, running. That planter, that planter looks like maybe on his third time around, I'm guessing. Combine is combine full. No, combine must be going. Oh, wait, what happened? No, he just finished. Okay, something went wrong there. And meanwhile, the 8440 on 35 there is just, I don't know, making a mess of that field. Actually, doesn't look like he's going very far, does it? Is there something wrong here? Oh, there's a pole here. Yeah, see what I mean? There's no warning message. This is what happened last time, too. He was just stuck on a pole. Oh, hello, spring back. Yes, yes, I'm trying to pick the... Apparently there's some sort of weird collision back there. Weird. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's probably, I uh, think, well, yeah, was there some different uh, tying options on the back? 
Yeah, the collision must still be back there for me, even though they're not visually visible. Ah, uh, yes, another tree. Why not? There we go. Apparently, <laughs> we're really stuck on that one, too. Okay, well, I'll just hire the worker there again. And usually, I would once we have the first headland done, and it's usually pretty good after that. It's that first headland that sometimes uh, gets a little bit of trouble there, any trees and whatnot along the edge. For some reason, the hired worker likes to overlap the field there quite a bit. Probably a good thing, I guess, to some extent. But you end up with a tree or a pole or something that's a little too close, and yeah. Of course, in that case, having that uh, hired worker, well, actually, forced a worker on the cultivator. That was a tree just in the middle. Or, uh, that was not a tree. That was a power pole in the middle of the field. Yep. Should have had islands on for that one, I guess. Oh, well. Anyway, when looking at time, I think with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.